difficult thing. But very difficult. Seven five five twelve forty. Good cause. Uh, and uh, you know. Can I pick on you also here? I mean, can I talk to you about, uh, you know, first of all, uh, we're talking about a big event. We're going to continue. And let's go to the phones. But I want to talk to you about uh, certain bloggers that have been on the air recently. Have you seen any of the bloggers about the dank controversy? I've been looking at some of that. I tell you what, this guy, I don't know this latest blog. It looks like it's written by the same guy. And someone, please call in. It's a Democratic blog, blog anti-dank, anti-Jim Wright, and anti-Watertown Daily Times. And no, it wasn't written by the people of News Junkie. But, uh... Unbelievable. You must, again, this is a must, must read. It's one man's opinion, maybe many people's opinion. But let me tell you, intelligent, it's uh, right there, Democratic blog. Uh, yesterday, there was another guy, it was called something else, and I actually emailed the guy to see if he would come on the show. But all the. Brinker? Was it? The Brinker? The Brinker. Who is the Brinker? Who is this guy? The mayor said he's from Albany. It, really? Okay. Well, let me, let me see who's on the line, first of all. Hi, Ernie, I can help you. You know, Robin Williams played a cross dresser. That's creepy. <laughs> Right. Just at that note, your sons leave. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't blame them, to tell you the truth. Uh, Debrinka was in the Albany area? I believe that's the mayor. Well, well, let me tell you something. This guy can definitely put uh, uh, the written word together and, uh, and get his point across. And uh, I've had a couple of business people, and I'm not going to bring it up here because it's a, it's a, we're not here for that. But uh, in the very near future, I hope to uh, uh, present this on a, on a silver platter because, uh, you know, here it is. We're talking about a community. Whose, whose own newspaper still, for whichever reason, has the same political clout it did decades ago when they actually had 44-plus thousand subscribers. And now, somehow or other, that clout is still in his corner in order to persuade... Now, there's nothing... I, I, I think Jim Wright's a good man, don't get me wrong. But the, the heir apparent to that job really had a lot to say to why he was, at the last minute, not chosen to run dank. And, you know, it's good to know that the Constitution is alive and well on the Internet, and that this guy brings up some good points. A lot of people might not agree with him. A lot of pro-Jim Wright people are saying, what the heck, you know, this, this is our guy, he was a great uh, state senator. But, uh, you know, in this day and age of scandals on Wall Street and political cronyism, this has got to stop. And just what the president is doing in the administration is stopping those people from getting their bonuses on, on Wall Street. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a grassroots uh, organization here. We're not going to stop what already happened. You know, Jim Wright is the head of Dank. But you know what? There's a lot of things to be said about what happened now. You know, we got a newspaper with 8,000 subscribers on any given weekday, still with the same clout they had back in the 60s and 70s. That, my friend, is wrong. I'm sorry. And, and that's why this, this friggin' town is the way it is. And those days have to end. E-N-D. Like with me, once Jim hears what I'm saying this. Because he does have control, and that's, you know, that's just a part of what he's all about. But I'm saying that as an American citizen and a citizen of the North Country, it is wrong what's just happened here. And the bozos running things over there, getting this guy, to, uh, getting Jim in there, that was very wrong as well. So go to News Junkie and read what this man has to say. You might not believe it. You not, might, might not agree with it. And to be quite honest, there should be a, a balance here, too, uh, for News Junkie, perhaps to, to get an, another opposing point of view. But the damage has already been done. So go to it when you get a chance. Now, back to the show. How long have you been working at Kinney? 25 years. 25 years. What